Hey guys, Tech Agent here. So, um, I've, uh, as you guys know, I upgraded my audio recording setup and stuff. I have a new microphone, a new uh, pre uh, preamplifier, a new interface for uh, my audio. And uh, since it's a new one, I don't use this anymore. So I thought I'll do a final review on it, just to end, end it all, and you know, just uh, show my respect for this microphone. This was my first microphone ever. I, I when when Tech Agent started in 2011, I, I never had a good microphone. In December of 2012 or something, uh, I bought the 20 uh, ADR 3350, and I ordered this from a uh, website. At the time, I did not know you can find microphones in India locally and stuff, so I had to import this, um, which uh, took a long time. I, it took around three months for this microphone to arrive at my house, so I waited a long time, and then it finally came. So, um, as far as this microphone goes, that there was a long wait behind it. So this was my first proper microphone, and I was really happy when I got it. I started doing these voiceovers and stuff, and my audio sounded fantastic. Um, so I've been using this microphone for the for the past uh, I don't know, 13, 15, 15 months, 16 months, and um, 15 months I think. And now, after I upgraded, I don't use this anymore. So I thought I'll give you guys my final review on it. I did an unboxing. I also did a test, which it's quite embarrassing. So don't watch that video. Uh, I just wanted to talk about some things in this microphone about this microphone and then I'll link some videos uh, down in the description so you guys can take a look at or uh, hear the voiceovers I did with this microphone I, I, I'm gonna pick some of the best which I think were recorded perfectly so those should be in the description but in terms of the microphone it's pretty simple you have um, some things sorry if you can hear some noise but here we have your uh, uh, volume up and down this is for your live uh, monitoring uh, zero latency let me take a headphone this is a cheap headphone this is a in your monitor so i can just plug this in and i can uh, monitor my audio live so i can hear myself pretty you know pretty clearly in terms of the the, the live monitoring there is a, a good amount of static uh, coming from the the headphone amplifier inside the microphone and since everything is just usb um it picks up a lot of static so it's not the cleanest headphone amplifier but i think it, it, this has to do with time and something uh, because uh, when i got it brand new it, there was no issue but now since it's aging i think uh, the headphone amplifier is picking up some static while monitoring so it's not the most ideal situation but you can do it if you're lucky enough to have a a, a, a clean source every time you are plugging it in um, it's a usb microphone so there, there's no need for any interface or anything like it just plug and play and it's pretty simple with that uh i find the overall uh you know pick up and drop off to be pretty good uh it's uh what does that mean is that if i come closely as you can see and when i go far it's, it's not a huge difference it's, it's still uh within the range of acceptable i think so it's pretty good in terms of that and since it's audio technica microphone um you have great high frequency extension so uh, if you if, if, if you're recording female vocals etc then that should that should sound pretty good because it's audio technic after all so if you want the low end uh, kind of a warmth and extension then it's not a great microphone because uh, it, the bass rolls off pretty early so you don't get a lot of bass extension for male vocals which uh, you might expect so it's more of a kind of a brighter sound not exactly but very thin sounding in the in the bass so it's pretty good for uh, female vocals etc uh, for that i think it's a great microphone uh but everything else about it is pretty good i have a pretty uh you know heavy voice i think uh, uh you know for my age a lot of people talk about my voice but uh this is not the greatest microphone for for that uh compared to the rode nt1a you get just better uh spectrum in terms of uh recording with the nt1a but the nt1a has some sibilance issues so i it's not exactly very flat but it's it's still pretty flat compared to this other than that it's a great microphone as you can see uh i there's nothing wrong with it the stand it comes with is pretty good uh, basic stand you can also get uh, extra stands uh i think the 2035 2020 and those uh microphone uh shock mounts should work with this microphone so you can plug this into your uh or connect this to your uh uh microphone stand and it should be you know pretty good other than that you know it's it's fantastic i don't think there is any anything wrong with this uh the only gripe i might have might be the the top part this is padded this is uh damped inside this part is actually stuck with glue so it's not a part of it so it's, the body is unibody it's a machined aluminum but the top part this part uh, can come off after some time so this when i was uh recording one time i just you know it just came out so 
it's not the best in terms of fit and finish but you know it's a full metal construction uh, machined you know metal so it's all cnc really solid fantastic can take pretty much anything you want also one another gripe i think might have to be the the, the logos of the audio technica and stuff those are la laser etched i think or uh, printed i don't know what they are but they easily rub off so if you just if you're going to touch them a lot they are just going to rub off mine is completely gone so there's no audio technica logo anywhere but uh, that's that should be the only thing I'm not too happy about and of course the price uh, this microphone used to retail for uh, $120 I bought mine for $120 but now I uh, I've heard that on Amazon it goes as down as $40 which is a ridiculous price it's, it's, it's underpriced for something like this compared to the you know competitors like the Yeti and uh, I think uh, snowball snowball sucks just skip the snowball Yeti I think has a better bass extension but I think in terms of overall clarity and fidelity, the Audio Technica wins. So Yeti is pretty good if you if you if you have a nice, um, <clears throat> perfect uh, sweet spot for you know in terms of the voice. But if you have a, like a heavy voice, sometimes can sound a bit muffled because the the the, the high end is rolled up, but the bass is there. So you have this very bizarre frequency response for recording, which I am not a big fan of. So I, I prefer the Audio Technica. Uh, but you know to you know to each uh, his own. So I cannot say if you're gonna like it or not. <clears throat> Other than that, the 2500 is a fantastic microphone. I highly recommend it. it was my first microphone. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to sell it, but it's a great microphone for the price. I highly recommend it. It's uh, just one of those microphones you just got to have. It's a great USB microphone uh, for recording. If you're into gameplay and stuff, should be pretty good. It's very affordable as well. So just get a good shock mount, get a good stand, and uh, you will have a fantastic uh, setup if you have the right voice as well. Should be pretty good. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I think I'll see you guys. In the, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the AOTM. If this goes up today, uh, because I'm filming it today, so it should be up by tonight, I think. And tomorrow morning, I'm gonna film AOTM, and that should be up tomorrow night. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and um, that's pretty much it. We hit 700 subscribers. We are over 300,000 views. So th thank you for that. Uh, I think well, I think I'll see you guys next time. All right. I'm done, I keep on coming